So my race is Black or African American. Um, the terms can be used interchange interchangeably, um, but more so I identify as Black, um, and that's because I have African ancestry. So I identify. I often wear natural hairstyles. Um, I have never treated my hair with chemicals throughout my entire life. Um, that's something that my mother actually implemented in my life as a child. I never had like a perm or relaxer, and I've carried that through my adulthood. So to me, wearing a natural hairstyle means that you are embracing your naturalness and specifically as a black woman, I'm just embracing what it means to have my hair texture and love it, regardless of what society or societal standards may say about my natural hair. Um, so for me to embrace it and wear it, just an expression of my pride in myself and my, my own hair texture, regardless of what others may. There are times where I feel that I'm treated Differently, I guess, is a good term, or just in a, in a way that's kind of awkward sometimes. Um, I'm often faced with, oh my gosh, and I touch your hair because it looks so cool. Oh my gosh, your hair has grown so much since the last time I've seen you, if I have like, like um, braided extensions or something like that. Um, or, you know, people are just highly fascinated. And to some extent, I understand. Maybe I get it, but I think there's a limit to where people can kind of make a black woman feel uncomfortable in those times. So I think if people were just a little more considerate about that and just try to educate themselves more um, for those types of situations. My various hairstyles are kind of different in their own way. Sometimes I wear braids, sometimes I wear um, twist outs where it's are like you braid your, you wash your hair braided or twisted overnight and then you twist it out in the morning and it's like a curly little fro. Um, sometimes I wear hair wraps like I have on today. This is just a scarf that I wrapped on my hair because <laughs> my hair was not cooperating this morning. <laughs> um, and sometimes I do actually straighten my hair with heat. Um, not often because my hair can get heat damage or anyone's hair can get heat damage, but Sometimes I do straighten it with heat with like a hot comb or flat iron. Um, but most of the time I'm washing it weekly, um, moisturizing it and doing like a braid out. Ways that I express my race through my appearance um, varies. Uh, the most often that I can think of is through like my clothing. So I buy shirts with logos all the time that read phrases like um, proud black woman or when black girls win, we all do, um, and things of that nature. So I wear a lot of slogan t-shirts. I buy black brands often trying to do that. And like, there may not be a slogan directly related to my race on the shirt, but it's a black brand. So I support in that way. Um, sometimes I wear like, I wear like black cultural things, right? So like bamboo earrings, which are like culturally black. You can find them in like Neiman's now, but Five years ago, they were at the local beauty supply and you could only find them there for like 99 cents. So um, sometimes in different spaces, I do feel treated differently if I decide to express my race through my appearance. Um, sometimes like if I'm in a professional setting and I walk in with a head wrap, sometimes people like take a double look and then I'm asking myself, is this appropriate? But then I'm like, but why isn't it? So it's a process. Um, so I think that I often get like maybe double looked at or maybe like judged internally by some other people when I walk into certain spaces expressing my race. But I often just like, you know, roll with the punches and continue to do what I love. 